Hey Steelers Nation! Our team is always striving to improve and deliver better results on the field. Before we dive into today's exciting topic, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates on your Pittsburgh Steelers. This season, the Steelers have a major advantage heading into Week 2 against the Denver Broncos. Head coach Mike Tomlin aptly described Arthur Smith and Russell Wilson as a bit scalded, and they have a golden opportunity to exorcise some past demons early on. The Steelers will first face the Atlanta Falcons, a team that dismissed Smith, and then take on the Broncos, who parted ways with Wilson after a rocky 2023 season. Traveling to Denver in Week 2 is always challenging, especially given the altitude, but the Steelers have a favorable matchup against rookie quarterback Bo Nix. Emotions will run high as the team looks to support their offensive coordinator and quarterback in overcoming past setbacks. Wilson's departure from the Broncos was marked by tension with head coach Sean Payton, who benched him for the final two games of the 2023 season. Denver is taking an $85 million cap hit over the next two seasons because of Wilson's release. The Broncos are paying Wilson nearly $38 million this year while the Steelers are only on the hook for just over $1 million on a veteran minimum deal. There's definitely bad blood between Wilson and Peyton. An AFC personnel executive told ESPN's Jeremy Fowler that Peyton never liked Wilson from day one. Former NFL quarterback and current NBC Sports analyst Chris Sims believes Peyton will be determined to outcoach Wilson in Week 2. Sean Payton is not going to want Wilson to come here and win this game, Sims said on Pro Football Talk. He's definitely not going to want that. However, former Broncos running back Philip Lindsay warns that Payton could overthink his strategy. There are many obstacles that Bo Nix and Sean Payton will have to navigate, Lindsay said on Denver's 104.3 The Fan. You're playing against a well-established coach like Mike Tomlin, who has a great track record against rookie quarterbacks. Tomlin boasts a 24-6 record against rookie QBs, giving Pittsburgh a historical edge. Yet, Denver is tough to beat at home early in the season, with a 34-7 record in the first two weeks since 1990. However, they are 1-4 in their last five home games in this early stretch since 2019, per Warren Sharp. The Steelers haven't won in Denver since 2009, and breaking this streak will be crucial. This game is a chance for Wilson to set the tone for the rest of the season with a revenge game narrative early on. It's shaping up to be an exciting clash with high stakes. What do you think, Steelers fans? Will Wilson and Smith overcome their past and lead us to victory in Denver? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exclusive Steelers content. Here we go, Steelers.